Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of It's the Fun. So, okay, last week we had two people who did not post their videos. And one of the reasons was because it's hard to make videos about things sometimes. Like, you get on camera and it's like, what am I supposed to say? Oh, I dyed my hair, by the way. Um, it's like, what am I supposed to say? uh to this to this camera you know and it's it sometimes is difficult but as a solution to the problem of not being able to come up with ideas for videos we're going to do a theme week it's like showing people what you do every day uh, or during the day or and what happens and you know talking about that kind of a thing but in this sense it's going to be just a little bit different i just want you the viewers to get to know us it's the fun a little bit more so what we do, why we're so busy, why we can't put out videos sometimes, you know, what, what the real issue behind all that is and, and why we're so busy, but also at the same time why we really want to do this. Um, so for me, I wanted to show you what I've been working on in terms of art. So this is a painting I started the other day. Um, it's just an underpainting so far. And for anyone who's not into art, an underpainting is sort of the basic foundation for the painting. So like his skin isn't going to be that green or that blue or this pale exactly. Um, but it's just to get, or his eyes won't be that blue either, but it's just to get a general sense of um, the colors, the form, and everything else. And it's just going to, I just decided to do it because I was bored and I want, I need something to decorate my room. I actually used an old canvas that was, there was a, yeah, it was a lithograph on this canvas and it was just in my apartment. My landlord didn't want it anymore, so I just reused the canvas. Great thing about being an artist is you can reuse a lot of things. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this was something that I only worked on maybe for maybe an hour and a half-ish. But it's got a long way to go. Um, sorry about the glare. But it does have a long way to go. It is just in the beginning stages. But but yeah, so anyone who doesn't know anything about art, I can show you how the whole thing starts. So to begin any kind of painting, you start out with some sort of palette. This palette is really messy because I didn't really care about... It was... Basically, it was just because it was just the underpainting, the palette is really messy. Um, but I'm only working with limit with a limited palette of red, blues, and variations of yellow and brown. So it's, it's very, very simple palette. I don't want to get overcomplicated with it. And yeah, so I mean, for each color of the skin, I used a different, I mixed a different tone. I hope it's not too blurry. I mixed a different tone. Um, so yeah, and then that translates into what you see here like it's a direct reflection of what's on your palette onto the painting and so doing something like this i'm a crazy mixer i like to take my time with mixing and it's just it's kind of like doing makeup if you've ever seen a makeup tutorial it's kind of like doing makeup except you have to make your own palette and then you have to apply it onto the canvas which would be your face but now it's a, an actual canvas so yeah, so I like to take my time with mixing. So I started out, and I knew I wanted to do something very, very simple. So I started out with just um, a yellow, an orange. I hope you can see that. A yellow, an orange, a brown, a very, very dark brown, uh, white, which is no longer there because I use a lot of it, um, red, ultramarine blue, and um, just a, a very, very um, sort of, kind of luminescent green. It's called Viridian. Um, so yeah, and then you just take your palette knife. And I'm sure you've seen some Bob Ross uh, videos, but you just basically just take your palette knife and kind of mix uh, the colors that you want. And um, it takes it takes some practice to get really, really good at it. Um, but the more you do it, the better you get. You know, it's just like doing anything. You know, the more you practice, the more you get at it. Um, so yeah, that's what I was doing yesterday and basically just listening to music. But yeah, school starts soon too, so, you know, I've also started painting because I've been, I haven't painted anything the whole summer. I've been crazy out of practice. I did do some drawing, but not very much. Here I've been pretty, pretty slow, pretty, pretty quiet. Maria's currently not here. She works nights too, as you probably heard in another video. But yeah, Maria works nights. And most of the time I do is I sit on the computer, listen to music, look at art, look at artists, um... Unfortunately, I left my tablet, my pen tablet at home, 
so I can't do any art on the computer right now. I'm very sad about that. So, as a solution, I started painting, and it's been taking up some of my time, not all of my time, a lot of the time during the day I spend sleeping, <laughs> which I really need to get out of because next, this Sunday, I have to get up at 6 o'clock to get ready for a uh, ropes course training at this place called Genesee Valley. Which is like the, it's a bonding experience for new OLs and to get to know each other better and everything. So, is, my life is going to get more hectic and, you know, you might have to be like, where are these videos? And I'm just going to be like, I'm sorry, we're busy. But I know the feeling. I mean, some, as, a, as a person who is almost on YouTube all the time, I'll go on videos and I'm like, you are supposed to post every Wednesday. Where is your video? But on, on the other end of the spectrum, it's like, sorry, I don't, I don't have time right now <laughs> to post these videos. And sometimes we forget. Like today, I knew I had to make a video, but I had no idea what I wanted to make a video about, and still don't really. I mean, I'm kind of just ad libbing. I knew I wanted to do the, this week's theme is vlogging, but I mean, my life isn't that interesting right now. It really won't be that interesting until I get back to school. Alright, thanks for watching again, you guys. Stay tuned to watch the rest of It's the Fun this week. And, oh, I forgot my, I forgot the, I totally forgot the quote of the week. The quote of the week is by Eric Thomas. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Basically, you have to live and breathe what you want. Live and breathe art. If art is what you want, live and breathe art. If writing is what you want, live and breathe art. If acting is what you want, live and breathe acting. I mean, when I went to a my private school. People were acting all the time, singing and acting all the time. If you want to get good at something, practice, 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 practice. Same thing with these videos. I mean, we're practicing this. This is something that we're all new to. So, and it's taken me forever. I always, anyway. Thank you for watching this week's It's the Fun. Make sure to watch the rest of the It's the Fun and stay tuned for this. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Um, I did have a friend of mine ask me to do something with this song called X Project by DJ Fresh. So I did a little something with that. I mean, this morning I woke up and I was in no mood for anything or anybody. I was like, do not talk to me today. Uh, not in the mood for it. But I did incorporate the video and the song into it. So there you go. Roll the clip. Yes, 